to the Home Engineers channel. Today what I'm going to be showing you is how to put a convex curve on the outside of a piece of bar. I've already set up some of the job to save time on the video and I've placed a piece of sacrificial bar and I've just clipped it back using these clamps and I've put a centre dot in it to support the piece of bar that I'm going to use to create the radius. This was just a random piece in the scrap bin that I picked out and I've put two centres on the end. It just so happens it is three and a half inches long. So the radius we're going to create on the end of this piece of bar here in the chuck will be three and a half inches. Underneath here, um, clamped to the headstock and the bed, is a magnet just to support a sacrificial piece of bar just to space um, the job out so that I can get the, the, the lathe tool in the right position. Again, this has had another centre dot put in it, ready to take the piece of bar um, that's going to create the radius. What I've also done is I've calibrated the lathe tool to the centre of the bar by simply facing off the piece of bar until it cleans up and then I know that that is roughly my, my centre point of where the end of my radius is going to be and then I've then just set the dial To zero. So now what I need to do is place this piece of bar between the two centre dots and hopefully it will then be parallel um, to the bed of the machine. Okay so as you can see the piece of bar is now trapped between the headstock and the saddle and what will happen now is when I keep pressure on, on the saddle going towards a chuck and wind the cross slide the saddle will actually travel um, forward in this case because I'll be winding it backwards so as I wind it back That will come forward. Right. So what I've now done is, as you can see, the piece of bar is now at an angle, which is your radius. So as I now come forward with the tool, you will see the, the this handle here rotate backwards towards the tailstock until I get to my zero which then I then know is my home position. So what I'll do is I'll take a cut now, I'll start the chuck up, just so that you can see um, a couple of cuts being made on the, on the machine. So as you can see, the radius has started to develop or be generated um, using this technique. And you can see the bit of bar in there that creates that radius. Now, depending on the size of the radius you, you need, you just set the, the, the piece of bar to the size you, you require. It might mean that you need a larger sacrificial piece of bar to bring the tool, uh, the, 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 the tool, the the bar out further so that the saddle can get the swing or it might be the job is actually longer so it could be further down the bed um, but again you just have to work that out 
um, as you go. But the main important thing is if you've got a desired radius, you need to make sure that the bar is of that, that known length. OK, I hope you found this video interesting and thank you very much for watching. Um, please subscribe if you've enjoyed it and thank you very much for watching.